one day this will be a resort. You can barely see that land right there. Because look how much space they have. They have probably hundreds and hundreds of unused acres. That we don't even realize. Exactly. Yeah, true. Okay, so we're stuck on the Skyliner and we have eight minutes to get to Hollywood Studios. I don't know if we're going to make it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your patience. We are now resuming your journey and we'll take flight momentarily. Thank you. I actually get in, it's a madhouse. Look. Wow, madhouse for COVID. Be worth this worth it. It has to be this it worth it. Be this Obviously, it is because all these people are here. Look at these people trying to buy passes right now. <laughs> Kyle kept trying to talk, and I kept accidentally turning the camera off. He says it's because they put Star Wars in the name. That's why people are going crazy, which is probably true. But look at all these people. Oh my gosh, we're making it. Okay, guys, I gotta go. We gotta see if we get it. Okay, we got into the parks on time. We got into the queue, like virtual queue, and then it had trouble loading, and so we didn't get in. Neither, like, neither of us were able to get in. A little ticked off because we came all this way and we actually made it here on time and then we still didn't get it. So that's just frustrating. I personally don't like the idea of the virtual queue because now I'm stuck, like realistically, I'm stuck in this park that is now full to probably its capacity at the moment and I wouldn't have come here early to begin with because I don't necessarily like coming to the parks early because I know there's a rush for a little bit and then it dies down. So this, this park is not in our favor today, I would say. Would you say that? So we just went on Rock and Roller Coaster, which is like a 25 minute wait, so that's not bad. Like, awesome, got on. And then we got on the ride and then it got stuck. And then we stayed there for a little bit. And then you could hear like the cars coming behind it and that was kind of scary. So we freaked out a little bit, but then it was fine and we got off. But then we went to go, go, to go, go. Then we went to go on Mickey's Runaway Railway, but that's down right now. They're having technical difficulties with that ride. So the guy suggested, he was like, hey, I, I honestly wouldn't suggest waiting in this line right now. Like, I don't know when it's gonna be up. And we were like, okay. So now we're going to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and gonna see if everything's, if anything's working there. We're gonna go on something there maybe. What do you teach you? Just what do you think you're doing? Get back to work before they deactivate you. Yes, I think they would. And hurry up, they'll be needing this transport any moment now. No, I don't feel sorry for you at all. Where are we going? Stop. Dun. Oh, you did have more accuracy, but wow. 
We just went on Mickey's Runaway Railway and it was so cute. It was our first time on it and we both liked it a lot. So that was a lot of fun. Now we're at Disney's Riviera Resort and we got lunch. Let me show you what we got. Regular cheeseburger and fries. Bacon burger. Oh, bacon burger. Bacon. Sorry. Bacon, bacon. And then I got the grilled chicken sandwich and it has balsamic glaze on it with tomatoes and spinach leaves. And I got the Parmesan fries, so I'm excited to try that out. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum, yum. How did you like Mickey's Runaway Railway? It was pretty good. Yeah? I was impressed by the uh, no track system. Yeah, I know that was cool, little dancing scenes and stuff. Never seen that before. Yeah. And it has little Walt pictures that I think are really cute. Them visiting everywhere. This is the so cute. Getting my favorite thing again. Shake and Tiki cold brew with Irish cream. I was getting the Happy Snowman. Woo! Maybe you'll make me more happy. Yeah. Guys, there is hope after all. They're boarding very quickly now, and so we might actually get on to Rise of the Resistance. Um, now we're going on, or we're in line for Slinking Dog, Slinking, Slinky Dog. Um, look at my hair right now, like, what is going on? But, um, it does look like a storm is coming, so hopefully, you know. Oh, what are you doing? But hopefully, we'll, uh, actually get on the ride before it rains. We'll see. Wish us luck. Oh, I keep getting too close. Okay. We're stuck. We're stuck. We're stuck. No, it actually happened. Lightning or thunder or both. Okay. There's thunder in the area, so they're pausing the ride at the moment. Uh, so we just decided to stay in line and wait, try and wait it out because there's nothing else to do. We did everything else, yeah? 
Yep. And the uh, new Star Wars one. Yep, Rise of the Resistance, but that they haven't called our boarding pass yet, so. It hasn't even started raining yet, but it's on 101. It does look like it's going to rain, though. Yeah, it is pretty cool, yeah? Oh, no, there's really no dark clouds. So we'll see. Yeah, but there must have been something in the area for them to stop it. Well, yeah, there's lightning probably, but... Um, excuse me, sir, could you put your mask on? I wonder if a kid actually colored that and then they just, like, used that, you know? Here we go! so upset earlier that we couldn't get on and now our dreams are coming true and we're not as sassy anymore. Are you ready? The outpost on Batu is no longer safe. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pokhara. Whoa, whoa, whoa. this is cool. Like, in this thing. Transport takeoff in 20 seconds. Please stand by for takeoff. Please stand by for takeoff. Please stand by for takeoff. Are you and your team ready? Affirmative, the engines are on. Red 2, blue 5, report. Red 2, check. Blue 5, standing by. Favorite part of Disney because they have guns. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so tell us, uh, you just had a penny, right? Yes. So if you come to Disney, see if you find a penny. It has a K on it. Oh, has a K? Yep. Did you sharpie it in? Yep. Oh, so you know it's Kyle's. Cool. Good job. Runaway Railway one more time because it's closing and you know it's a good way to end the night. Where was it? Oh, did you like Rise of the Resistance? I did. It was actually worth the wait. It was worth the wait. Yes, the craziness, the waking up early to try and get on. Yes. That was crazy. It was very intense. And when we walked into the room with stormtroopers, like we were the I was, first ones, yeah, we, we were the first ones. Yeah, and we didn't know where to go, and there was no like lines on the floor. And we were like, uh, and people then, were just talking to each other, so we were just kind of sitting there, like, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, we were very afraid. So that was very interesting, very scary. How was your day overall? Very, very stressful. <laughs> it was hectic at first, but in the end, pretty well. Now we know. Don't come in the mornings. Come in the afternoons. Uh, one, it'll be cooler. Two, you'll be able to actually get the rides that you want. And three, you'll absolutely get down for it. Oh, is that a good thing? I think. I think it's a good thing. Now we just got on a bus and we're going to the Contemporary because we're going to go out to dinner. Right, it's going to get dark. Because if you see, I can't. Uh -huh. We're going to go to the Contemporary because we've got reservations for California Grill. Which we've never been to, and we are not dressed for the part, but that's all right. But the California Grill review will be in a different video in the next video. So this is it for tonight. I want you all to have a good night, and we will see you guys later.